Hi everybody, this is Getting In Your Business with Coach Sandra and today I have Coach Justin who is my special guest. I'm really excited to talk to you Justin because I find you fascinating. We sort of know each other on a chat and I, but I don't really know you and I know you've got kids but I'm dying to know your whole process. I want to know, sorry that's my dog, I want to know why you became a coach firstly. So let's start there. Okay. Uh, yes, I became a coach because I have uh, been in a leadership position for the uh, just about the last uh, decade. And when I was being trained to be a leader, it was uh, kind of uh, do what you are supposed to do right now. I don't care about what's going on outside of that. Um, and I was like, well, you know, I, as a leader, want my people to be comfortable and want to do the things that I asked them to do, not just they have to do it. Right. Um, and it's, that's kind of always been my starting point. And it's only developed from there as I learned like ways to help people be motivated and um, really just helping people be uh, achievers themselves. I love that. I love that. Okay. I always like to know the whys because it make it makes sense with what you post and things like that. I love that. So tell me about boss mode and what is your your philosophy for your coaching process? Okay. Uh, yeah. Boss mode is kind of like a mindset training program. Um, it's made up of eight letters. Uh, best being like, what do you want? Uh, for your goals, like what's the best version of yourself, the best version of your future, um, and then optimizes comparing that versus where you are now, mm -hmm. and then being able to say, well, if I make these changes here and there, then I can start really moving closer to the best, um, and then that brings you to the first S, which is sequence, um, building a habit train or habit stack to achieve those goals. Um, and then self is the second S where that's where you start seeing like what's getting in the way of your new habits, like what realizing where your comfort zone was, why you had that comfort zone and how to still be comfortable, but move forward. Um, then M is mindful, you know, paying attention to the way that you interact with the world. Um, and then observation is O seeing how the world interacts with you. I love this. And then, I had no idea. Keep going. <laughs> yes. Um, and then the last two are decisions, you know, deciding with where you've got from the best to there, um, how do you make the decision that's going to move you towards your best and using the mindfulness to um, make sure that that's just the way your brain thinks. Right. Did you, is then, this, is this like, did you create this boss mode or did, is it like, where did this come from this? Well, it's kind of like an amalgamation of everything that I've learned becoming a coach Wow. and Fascinating. how like a little bit of stoicism, a little bit of, um, first principle thinking, um, video games, trying to, uh, <laughs> you know, create the best way to get all the little side quests done so that you have all the gears to fight the boss at the end of the game. Um, and then that's kind of where it all kind of clicked just one day, just like, oh yeah, this is totally my thing. Amazing. It, it, it's, it's so thoughtful and thought provoking. Like I, I didn't know that it stood for, for these things. I just thought like it's in capital letters and it's boss mode and you say that a lot and I didn't know what it was and um, I love that explanation so I really hope that other people that see that going hey that's really cool it is really cool so thank you for sharing that and um, what who is your client tell describe who your client is so my ideal would be uh, others in leadership positions that want to empower themselves to have a balanced life because through my time as a leader, you know, it's all been straight to work. And then when I'm at home, I'm thinking about work. And when I'm at work, I'm thinking about how I should be at home. 
and really, you know, setting the intentions to be where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there and um, creating the boundaries in between. Um, and I want to work with leaders to help them find that balance for their lives and then also bring that to their teams because, you know, a, a true leader wants to elevate the people that are with them, not just, you know, drag them along behind as they better themselves. Yeah, create more efficiency within the company and create that great atmosphere so you can pass that on. I, I love I love that as well. Um, you're so fast. Like, I, honestly, when I'm doing these interviews, I, I'm always surprised by something and I have no idea what I'm going to get. So I really appreciate um, the time that you take to, to tell me these things. Also, um, do you have any uh, projects coming up or anything that you're working on that you want to share with the community? Uh, yeah, I'm working on a 28 day boss mode challenge. Um, right now it's kind of, you know, it's a mindset training tool to um, kind of let everyone interact with that and, you know, cultivate that style of mindset training. Um, and then from there, uh, it just kind of, you know, helps them live better lives just through a, about a month. <laughs> When, when are you launching that? Uh, right now I'm, you know, trying to figure out oh, it's what, in the works. It's... What's, yes, it's in the works. Um, uh, the first, you know, eight days are pretty much set, you know, one step per day and then kind of putting them together and then building from that and building from that. And, um, just trying to figure out like a daily activity for everything. So it's not something, well, you're going to take four hours this day, four hours this day, it's going to be, you know, uh, influenced by Mind Valley, where it's like, you know, a couple minutes here and there. But at the end of the month, it's still going to be incredibly impactful. That's great. Okay, so you're still in the process. This is you're going to be launching, um, but you're still in the process of getting yes. getting that all together. Mm -hmm. Okay, that but that's great, because those are the kind of things we want to know. Um, because the other thing that I'm offering to people, if they wish, is when you decide you want, you're going to be launching and you want to share that, just contact me and we can just, we can do this again. And, and so that way, you know, you get some people like, oh, I wanted to do that. So we can always let people know what's going on if you wish to do that. Yeah, that, that'd be really helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so because this is a short segment, I am going to we've got I've got all the questions answered that we needed to because I wanted to make sure introduce why you wanted to be a coach what your business is who your client is and what projects are coming up so th there's a lot going on and I thank you so much for your time I love getting to know you finally <laughs> more yeah. so than just a little snippets here and there so thanks yeah, we've kind of just been bumping into each other <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And it, um, your contact information will be in the header of this post. And if you decide you want to put your e-coffee link uh, once I post it, I will let you know, obviously, when that happens. But we can always okay. do that. So is that okay? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Well, thanks, Justin. And we'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>